South Korea. I was giving a talk to a lot of monks. There must have been a hundred of them there. They're all very well educated in their Mahayana Buddhism. And I started talking about something and this monk stands up in the back and he's, I'm going through a translator, but he's basically saying, you're teaching the same as the Mahayana teach. And that got translated to me and I said, I'm not a Theravada monk. I'm not a Mahayana monk. I'm a Buddhist monk. <laughs> and they all started clapping. <laughs> so that gave you a little bit of history about the Theravadins, and that's why we don't call ourselves Theravadins here. We've just now started to develop the, um, the handle, I guess you'd call it, of Suttavadin. There was a Suttavadan sect, didn't last very long in the early part of the Buddha's, uh, after his Paranibbana, a few hundred years. And we are an American tradition. You go to Thailand, you have to learn Thai. I don't want to learn Thai. I have dyslexia. I have real problem with languages. I'm lucky to be able to speak English. Go to Burma, you have to learn Burmese. And you come to this country and you say, well, I want to go to a Buddhist monastery and learn about Buddhism. All of the monasteries from other countries are cultural centers, not interested in teaching what the Buddha taught. They're interested in keeping their own culture going, which is going to fade out in 10 or 15 years. So our practice now has to grow so that there's something that can replace that cultural stuff or Buddhism will be lost. <laughs>